Hi there folks, so welcome back to my channel and for this video I've actually stopped off in the town of Colwinning which is in North Ayrshire and I will be having a quick wander around the town centre but I am predominantly here to visit uh, the ruins of the town's abbey and I think that the, the abbey here is a bit over, kind of overlooked and a bit overshadowed by more famous like churches like, say, like Glasgow Cathedral or Iona Abbey or places like that but personally I think it is just as interesting so I know there has been a at least a couple of archaeological projects carried out on the abbey so hopefully there will be some archaeological information to kind of delve into it during the visit and uh, the abbey itself when it was still being used as a church would have been dedicated to this to St Winning Hence why the town is called Kilwinning, because it was the church of St Winning. So I'm going to get out in a minute and hopefully get a good little wander around uh, the town centre and the ruins. Hopefully the rain will stay off and yeah, get a good video. But before I leave, a bit, before I get out, if you are enjoying my channel, if you are enjoying my videos, please click on that subscriber button, please click on that notification bell, it's really appreciated. And I've also set up a coffee.com page for the channel as well, which I'll leave a link to in the description bar below. Yeah, so I'm going to shut up now before I really start to ramble and get outside and go for a wander. This is uh, the main road to the main street through Kawinan. And the Abbey's actually just off the main street. And you see there's a, a tower just up there. That's uh, called the Abbey Tower, even though it's a 19th century tower. That's within the grounds of the Abbey itself. That's uh, the main street down there. And I've just come up onto Abbey Gate. And that's the Abbey Tower that I was pointing out earlier on. Just come through the open gate. And this here would be the remains of the west door and that's it that's it there that's the original one i've got the kind of side door as well So, put the, the modern tower, which is that one there. So, um, yeah, it's just there. So, when I go through in there, I'll be going through the west transept. And you'll notice when I get inside, there's a, a modern church at the far end. Uh, that essentially stands at where the choir and the presbytery once stood.
So that would be what would have been the inside of the original abbey. There's now a graveyard for the more modern church. And with the tower, there are certain days when it is open to the public, like during the summer as well. And you can go inside and go right up the top. And there is a little thing to do here uh, called uh, the Papingo Ship, which is uh, run by the Ancient Society of Cowanning Archers. Um, what it essentially is, it's, there are times when they'll have a target all the way up there, at the, kind of hanging over the edge of the top of the tower, and the archers are down here on the ground, have to try and shoot it, and whoever hits uh, the Pippingo, because that's what the target's called, they win, and they win the silver arrow. So, there's the heritage sensor. So, these are the days when it is open. And I will put a link to the co winning heritage group in the description bar below. The, the main street down there as well. Yeah, you know, a lot of the, the monasteries in Scotland, a lot of the abbeys were destroyed during the Reformation. And I think kind of Paisley and Iona are two of the few that are actually still used as abbeys or as kind of points of worship. So that's kind of a shame that so much of it's been lost. But the fact that you can still come and visit places like this and see the ruins does kind of at least get give an idea of what life is like in places like this. And it's just a lot of these kind of places do need to be kind of kind of highlighted and better known and kind of celebrated more because they do give such an insight into aspects of Scotland's history. And they are really important to Scotland's archaeology as well. So yeah, it's, uh, that's why I always kind of advocate these kind of places and trying to kind of highlight them because they are important and then they do need to be celebrated and preserved. So that's where I've just come from. And now the, the, the late 19th century church. This wee kind of flak. So this is the site of the crossing between the nave to the west, which is where I've just come from, and the choir to the east, which is kind of the way I'm facing. There was a lot of destruction during the, the Reformation. So that through that gate has led to the night stairs, which, have, which would have led to the monks' dormitory, which is just on the other side of that wall. I'm going to begin to there in a minute. So on that it's just on this side it's just a graveyard. And there's just uh, some 
more of the, the ruins here. And on that side, they actually had houses, like some of the 18th and 19th century houses where people lived. I think there were people living in there until the early 20th century. That's a wee bit in here is a chapter house. So that'll give you an idea of what Corning Abbey would have looked like in the past. <laughs> 